Thank you. What's going on, Lee Games? How you doing, man? I mean, hi. Hi. <laughs> Just checking out my new internet connection, seeing how everything's running right now. Hopefully, it's okay. Not really the food. It's not very good? Does it look grainy or anything? The video quality is not very good or what? I don't know. I just moved to this new address here a few hours ago. I'm just setting everything up. So I don't know. It's my first live stream from this address. I'm hoping the internet looks okay. I'm looking at it here. It doesn't look too bad, but I don't know what it looks like on your end. I don't know. On my screen, it seems to look okay, but it's faster than where I was um, a few weeks ago. At least the upload is faster, but the download isn't, so I don't know. I'm taking a look. Hopefully, it'll be fine. It's on fiber optics, though, so it should be okay. No, but the text to speak is really delayed. Um, yeah, that is a that's a YouTube thing. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, uh, sometimes, yeah, there's just nothing you can do about it. There's always a delay in text to speech. It's always been that way. Sometimes it's worse for others than it is. Um, and you just have to refresh your YouTube ch uh, page. And sometimes it gets better, but... So I've got a hundred and... Where have I been up to here? I've got... Uh... I've made 53,659,000 so far. Just by playing. No tricks or anything to it. Uh, where am I at here? It doesn't say how many cars I have. It says how many I bought, but it doesn't say how many I have. We got like a hundred and... I don't know. Got a hundred and eight cars. Is it saying here somewhere? Hundred and nine cars. There we go. We're doing all right. We're coming along here with the game. I remember one time on GTA, I was riding a motorcycle and I accidentally ramped and got it stuck on a tree. <laughs> have a food stream. Grow off to work. All right. Thanks, crazy. <coughs> Thanks for liking the video, guys. I appreciate that. I am. It's my first stream here in a couple weeks. I've been uh, been down for a bit. Just uh, open. We'll play a little multiplayer as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a quick uh, quick race in here to make some money. I always like to do one of these at least when I log in. And this uh, Bugatti, at first I didn't like it, but it's turned out to be pretty good for this race. Uh, it's the fastest race times that I've got on it. I'm finishing like almost three minutes ahead of everybody. And it's tuned down quite a bit. But I bought both of them and I forgot. Hey Rum, I'm doing okay, man. I forgot to um, uh, pick my color on the other one, so I ended up with the blue one, and I couldn't undo that. So
so I went and tried to paint it. So I got a blue one and a yellow one. Pretty crazy interior, but a pretty lousy view out the front window. But apparently all the Bugattis have the same blue interior. Amazing how a little pylon can just send a Bugatti flying like that. I got a penalty for hitting that little pylon. Crazy rear view mirror on the steering wheel. <coughs> the car doesn't feel like you're actually even driving very fast and it's really smooth like you don't feel any g-force or anything on the turns even you can be pretty lazy with it even uh, late braking and stuff so um, for me I didn't think much of this car when I bought it but um, I keep finishing the races like almost three minutes ahead of everybody compared to my other cars where I'm like maybe one minute ahead so, yeah. I know I've been away for a while. It's all right, man. Thanks for those people that are still here. It's cool. Now I have just moved into my new place. I am back on the mountain. And I'm um, checking out the new internet. You know how everything is. Certainly a lot better than the place that I was at. Um, much happier here all of a sudden. I had a nice chicken lasagna for lunch. But this is a totally tuned down Bugatti. Like this is um, at 700 performance points. I am the other one, the VGT, um, the higher, the more expensive one or whatever, the one with more horsepower. You can't tune down to 700. I mean, you can maybe if you screw around with his gear ratios and stuff. Um, but uh, the this one you can. <coughs> so. This one is actually a little bit more useful. Ooh. I bought a Zonda R, and uh, that's a, that is a hoot. The thing is a, a blast to drive, especially in PvP. Well, I'm going to go into a PvP lobby after this and see if any of my friends want to come and play with me. If I have any friends left in this, uh... <laughs> out there. But, uh, sorry guys, you know, I, uh, had to take care of some stuff. So, I was away for a little while. That happens. I've been streaming for 10 years, I haven't been online every day. I'm not sure if I'm going to get copyright strikes on uh, on this. So far, pretty much every single um, Gran Turismo video I've done has got copyright strikes on it, even though they say they have a streamer mode and it's copyright free. So I'm not sure, you know, what to do there. I might uh, just end up turning the music off altogether. But we'll see what happens. All right, we are in first place with a one second penalty.
I've already look at like you look at the lead I'm gaining right there. Six seconds, seven seconds. They're just, they're just climbing so fast, and I'm not even driving very fast. I'm only doing 250. Oh, well, yeah. Or other cars I'm doing three, four hundred. I, I don't end up with this kind of a lead. So There's something weird about the game here. Seems the slower I drive, the slower they drive, and if I pit, they pit. So, I don't know, like, I'm kind of figuring out the AI in the game. Um, it's pretty easy to manipulate, it seems. Or it can be predictable. As far as the update goes, I'm pretty happy with the whole um, new update overall. The, the higher payouts are good. These endurance races are my favorite races in the whole game. Um, I mean, I really wish, though, that they would add in, um, like, randomize the time of day that you're doing these races in. That would be cool. You know, instead of it always being the same time of day. I uh, you know, I'd like to do some of these races at night. You know? Huh. I don't think it would take much for uh, the powers that be with uh, Gran Turismo to just randomize the time of day. But I'm pretty impressed on how quickly that they, uh, they jumped on board and got um, their shit together. Compared to any other company so far. Cyberpunk, it took them a year to fix their shit. Battlefield 2042, it's still broken. But we're gonna do a lot more streaming. Assuming that everything looks okay, I'm not sure if the video is grainy or not. I'm trying to see. My laptop monitor screen is like fairly small, right? So it's hard to tell if the video is grainy. I'll um, take a look at the stream after. And if it's not good enough, then I'll put in a request for an internet upgrade. This car is really good on gas too. Like I get four laps to a tank, and if I and that's with if I go to lean, I can get six laps out of one tank of gas compared to the other cars where you have to uh, refuel every two laps. That could be though because it's so tuned down that it's just uh, not using very much gas. Finally out of that damn hotel that I've been living in for the last five months. And I might be able to get this place year-round. Oh, I'm going to find out here in a month or two. If 
I can get this place that I'm living in year round, then I am set. None more of this fucking bullshit where you don't know what the hell's going on tomorrow. The other thing that's cool about this place that I'm living at is I originally thought that the owners uh, had another suite that they were living in in the same building. <coughs> but apparently, they're clear across the country. So I don't have to worry about somebody fucking watching me all the time, trying to, you know, rule my life. Which is really cool. I might get a summer job too, though. See what happens. Well, we are on lap three. I can't believe this, man. I'm making 1650000 an hour just on this one race. And it's so easy. So I've, well, I've made well over $50 million now just playing in this game. But this uh, Circuit, Circuit de la Sarthe is actually my favorite race in the whole game. So... I remember back on PS3, I was just like the one race that I would race all the time. But I would like to race it at sunset and sunrise and, you know, you could pick your own weather and all that kind of stuff in the custom races. <coughs> Which I still can, but you don't make any money in the PS5 version with custom races. You do though with um, you know this this race here. I mean, it, it pays really good. I am still really trying to figure out how the hell to win the Tokyo one. I cannot get a win on that freaking Tokyo race. Not yet, anyways. I just don't have a really good 600 performance point vehicle for it. And I've, you know, I've tried so many different cars that I have and, you know, tuned them down and I've even bought cars for it and still, no, I've not got a win yet. I really do hope though that they add in, um, 900 and 1,000 performance point races. I hope they do. I mean, they have to add in Formula One races at some point because we've got Formula One cars, but no races for them. So I believe there's still a lot of content coming to this game. I just don't know at what kind of pace or schedule they're going to be delivering that to us in. ground here. Well, we're getting there.
But look at how far ahead I am of these guys, you know? Like, I'm almost a half a lap ahead. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you again. Look at how far ahead I am. And I'm not even driving very fast. So, yeah. I'm almost... I've almost lapped them before, like in previous uh, uh, races. I've almost lapped the AI in this. So that's pretty crazy. This Bugatti, like it barely does any tire damage either. So not only do you have a shitload of fuel in the tank, it hardly does any tire damage. And uh, it just feels effortless to drive. So at first I didn't like this car. I thought I made a big mistake buying it, but now after reviewing it a couple of times, it's probably one of the best cars for this race. Which is kind of cool. So I don't know if I've got any friends left in uh, out there that <laughs> want to play with me, but uh, if I do, man, you know, like if you got uh, Gran Turismo and you want to, you want to play. Uh, let me know because I know I've been away from a while and uh, you know people get mad if, at me for not being online every day so but yeah it would be cool to uh, play some Gran Turismo together if anybody else out there has it I've been really enjoying the game Pretty happy with it overall. Now that I've got myself a reasonably good car collection and money to buy more cars if I need to, um, I can do a little bit more of the uh, multiplayer stuff. But I heard some people were doing some, like, glitching or whatever to make a shitload of money, so... Whatever. I got 109 cars. I'm gonna buy one more car after this. Just so I can say I have 110. Nice even number. 109 just doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's this cool Formula One car which has a blue lamp on it that I want just for the blue lamp. I don't even care. It's not even the fastest Formula One car, but it's got a blue light on it and I, and I want it just for that. <laughs> and I've gone through and I bought pretty much all the VGT cars, um, like the concept Gran Turismo shit. Some of them are just trash, right? Some of them are pretty cool though. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say I've spent a good... 20 million dollars on garbage cars in the game so far but uh, the other 30 million I spent are, uh, are pretty good I think you know I'm still having issues with tuning I mean I have thought that I managed to get my my, my uh, Pagani Huayra tuned nicely and I managed to win the world championship with it but then I went back and drove it the day later, and I was like, man, this thing sucks. <laughs> so I don't know, man. You go from car to car, and they just all, there, there's quite a big difference between the, uh, some of the vehicles. Um, like this Bugatti that I'm driving, you can, you know, be ra rather careless when you're driving it. You can break late with it, and it'll still be forgiving enough that you're not going to miss your turn. For other cars, if you brake late, you're going to go flying right off the road, right? Uh, you can even brake really hard with it. It's not going to skid out on you either. So, a really easy to drive vehicle, this one. Same with um, the Pagani uh, Zonda R. That thing is a blast. It handles so good, right? And um, with nitrous and shit, it is fast. Um, 
but yeah, you get used to driving something like that, and then you go and drive something else, and you're just terrible with other with a different car, right? Well, it doesn't take long for that to happen. You know, I would say the best cars that I've run across in this game, I just stumbled across them. Like, I didn't actually go and plan to buy it thinking it was going to be a good car or anything. It was just like, either I won it, you know, or I bought it because uh, it looked cool. <laughs> you know? A lot of the cars, though, that I bought because they looked cool actually were just a, a complete train wreck, disaster-type cars, you know? A lot of the electric vehicles, pretty much all the electric vehicles are basically useless in this game, right? You can't do any endurance races with an electric vehicle. You can't charge the battery. By the time you've done one lap, you're, you're done. The car's dead. You know, you can't adjust the speed, you can't adjust the transmission, you can't adjust fuck all with them. There's no tuning, right? So, yeah, I don't know what to say about the electric vehicles in this game. Oh yeah, totally easy. But the thing is, by doing that, now you go and you're going to buy all the cars and now you're going to have nothing to play for, right? Once you own everything, I already have 110 cars, really, and I'm already starting to scratch my head like what am I going to buy next? And there's really not much left that's really that I'm excited about buying, right? Because I already bought all the shit that I'm excited about. So, uh, that's where I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go into multiplayer. At least in multiplayer, I'll have some fun in the, in the game that way. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Once, you know, if the, the money's too easy, then you finish the game too quickly. You know. But... I know Gran Turismo's got another thousand cars in their back pocket right now, so I'm not too worried about uh, running out of cars. And then they've got that system where you can only buy certain cars by invite only. So there's cars that I want. They bring back like 1,000 cars like GT5. Yeah, right? You know? But then there's the, the cars that you can only get by invitation, right? So that's the other thing, like there's cars that I want that I can't buy until I get an invite. Now I've logged in a thousand, no, I've logged in over a hundred hours now driving in this game. And so far I've only got two invitations for vehicles. So I don't know what the fuck's going on with the invitation system. But I've logged in a hundred hours of driving in the game. And I've got only two invitations to buy a vehicle. So, yeah, I think there's a problem with that but I don't even know when the weekly turnover is on this yet. Like, when do they change over the used cars and, and that kind of stuff? Does anybody know? You know what day it is they do a weekly changeover? I think it's a weekly changeover. But it certainly isn't daily. I go on every day, I got the same shit, so... For liking the stream and subscribing to the channel. I really gotta turn that Nightbot off. I don't know where it is. I gotta find that Nightbot software. I put that on my channel a year ago and I I don't know what I did. I either erased the software, but it's still there somehow. I can't find it. I don't know where the settings are for it. I mean, the car's all right. The interior is okay, too. I don't know about the blue, though. Every color of the car that you buy comes with the same damn blue interior, so... Uh. Oh, well. But there are some pretty crazy, uh, like, high-tech vehicles. You see these guys, man? I'm about to lap them. I'm almost about to lap them. 
I'm two and a half minutes ahead of them. Like the closest guy behind me is two and a half minutes behind me. <coughs> and that's his Bugatti, man. It's just such a... It's a peach, dude. Definitely uh, surprised on that. And I was so dumb when I bought them, I didn't realize you could change the color. So I just bought whatever was the standard one. <coughs> and then I realized after that you can change the damn color. And I'm like, fuck me, man. Because there's some really nice colors that you can get. And I just, you know... I missed the boat on that one. I mean, I think I had spent something like six million dollars on cars all at once. So I wasn't really... I just buy into shit. I didn't really think much of it. It's like I went and bought the three million dollar Gran Turismo vehicle. I haven't even drove it. Like I put like two kilometers on it. Not even. I just wanted to see what the interior would look like. Then I bought like a three million dollar McLaren. Uh, and it was pretty cool, you know, until I went and bought the Zonda and then all of a sudden the McLaren's like, um, maybe not that cool anymore. All right, we are two minutes and 40 seconds from the timer running out. And the cars behind me are two minutes and 33 seconds behind me. <coughs> I don't feel like driving all the way around the map again. So I'm just going to chill here and see whether the timer will balance out. They're 234 behind me. And the race will end in two minutes and 12 Two minutes, 10 seconds. Which means now I can just sit at the finish line and uh, just wait for the timer to go down and not have to drive all the way around the track another time. Yeah, they're 2.36 behind. <coughs> There's only a minute 30 left in the race. So, I might as well wait for that minute 30 to count down. And then, uh, and then cross the finish line. Let's see the guy over there waving the green flag. All right, 45 seconds to go. Otherwise, it'll take me like four and a half minutes or whatever to drive around the whole track again. If I cross the finish line now, then I got to go all the way around the track. But if I wait 20 seconds, then I can just drive across and win. That's what I mean about this car, it's just OP on this course. Like, I'm so far ahead of everybody. I can just sit here at the finish line and wait for it to time out. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and we go. Right?
Nine million three hundred forty-nine thousand. Let's take a million out of that. Let's let's, let's drop a mill out of that. Let's go shopping for a second here. Yeah. There's a car that I want to buy, and I have no reason to buy it other than it's got a. But if you play GTA again, I have a new account. It's a underscore white of a stick, and I have a cool low rider. Oh, all right. Well, send me um a friend request in the game under your new account. And uh, and I'll accept it so that when I'm online playing that game, you'll get a you'll be able to see me anyways, enjoy my session, right? Let's see if we got any new cars here first. No, nothing's changed over. I don't know. What, did they change it over on Fridays or something? In the hell do we get new used cars and stuff? Alright. Uh, I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to buy. They both look exactly the same. I don't see what the difference is between the two of them. Does anybody know here? Like... Does one have the blue light and the other one doesn't? Or like, why are there two of the exact same cars here to buy for the exact same price? There isn't a single difference. But what, does one have a blue light and one have a red wet light? SF19 Super Formula Toyota 19. SF19 Super Formula Honda 19. Oh. One's a Honda and one's a Toyota. Wow, oh, damn it. But they both have the exact same stats. Well, now which one's got the fucking light on the roof, man? They sure don't look any different either. Fuck. Do I have to buy both of them? Damn it. Alright, well then, before I do that, I'm gonna have to take a look at the lineup here now. I was like, I couldn't understand, like, <laughs> I just noticed one's a Honda and one's a fucking Toyota, man. Alright. Uh, let's just... I want to be able to tell which one is which here. No, I'm in the wrong car. None of these guys have the Formula One car in here on the lineup. Alright. Switch vehicles. That's the other thing, you can't switch cars when you're in um, arcade mode. Why do you have to go all the way back to your garage to get a different car? It makes no sense. Like, seriously. Alright. Let's try that one. This is the faster Bugatti. Much faster. Exactly same interior, but... It's much faster. But you can't downgrade it enough to do... Uh, I mean, you can get, I think, into the 800 range, but you can't get it into the 700 range. Well, one of these cars has a blue light on the roof. Maybe they both do, I don't know. Because they both look exactly the same. But... And in the lineup, oh, there's only one. Um, it was on sale on Black Friday. Oh, GTA Plus? What do you mean? Did I buy GTA Plus? Why would I want GTA Plus? What the hell is GTA Plus? I don't need that. 
SF19 Super Formula Toyota. Okay, so there's a Toyota. The only one in here is a Toyota. Let's see what the Toyota looks like. If I don't need it, I don't, I don't see any point in having it. Where's the Toyota? Where the hell is it? I, I, um, GTA Plus? Okay, so that's, that's not it. None of these cars have the blue light on the roof, so it's gotta be the Honda then. That's got it. Yeah, I'm in last place. None of them. Oh, there it is. The, the green light. Okay. Do they both have it? See, that one doesn't. Oh, he does have it. He's got a green light. All right. Now, looking at the list here. I'm super... SF19 super... Yeah, shit. I don't know. I don't really, like, as far as, uh, yeah, GTA Plus goes... Um, yeah, maybe if you're a new player. But, I mean, I've already made $2 billion in the game. Like, I, I don't... I don't really need anything. There's really nothing for me to buy in the game either that I would need a discount on. So it only shows me the top 10 players. Hmm. Well, if I buy the wrong car, then fuck it. I'll buy the other one too. Might as well have them all. Thank you for liking the stream and subscribing to the channel. I don't know if I want... What do you guys think? Toyota or Honda? I'm kind of, I kind of am particular to Honda, honestly. But I mean, Toyota, it, it's a tough call. I'm going to go with the Honda. Other than the brand, I, I really see no difference. So... Oh, hey, maybe in the dynamic scenes it'll show me. Uh, it's not showing his race light. What about the Toyota? Does it show its race light? Now oh, I need to see it at night time. It's all I like. The only reason I'm buying the car is for the little light bulb on the roof. <laughs> you know? But one's a Toyota and one's a Honda, so I mean, uh, there must be a Toyota versus Honda race. Right? Hold on. Yeah, they both got the same front end, too. But I own a Honda in real life. So, uh, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I just bought a Honda because I own a Honda. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go see what we got here. I better have a cool ass green light on the roof. Let's make sure we got tires for this though.
Not like you're ever gonna race with comfort tires, but I figure, fuck it, you know? They're cheap, so we'll just buy them. You never know when you wanna downgrade your performance points for some reason. Power restrictor, you definitely wanna do that. So you can, of course, restrict your power. <laughs> <coughs> That's the thing, like, after doing that race once, this car only cost me 175000 right? So... Uh, we need a racing transmission. Customizable. Absolutely. Of course, we're gonna need all the soft tires we can get. Does it have nitro, man? Please have nitro. Ah, oh, bummer. I mean, that would be so cool if it had nitro. But anyways. All right. We bought everything except for, like, the hydraulic handbrake. You know, man. What is the deal on this? For drifting. To make the back end slide easier. All right. <laughs> you never know. I'm gonna do a, a drifting battle with this shit. All right. I mean, I might go and buy the Toyota as well, but. At 906 performance points, and that's with wet tires. <laughs> I wonder how much we can tune it down. Can we tune it down to 700? Nitrous cannot be installed. It has nitro already in it. Oh man, and, I, and you can't undo the nitro. So it does have nitro. Well, that's fucking cool. But that pretty much, uh, yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, that's circuit experience. Okay, it is. I'm not actually gonna do the race. I just wanna see what, uh, Scar is like. Yeah, so it does have fucking nitro, but you can't adjust it. Hmm. Top speed 350. All right. But you can adjust the transmission, because I bought that. Yeah, it's got the green light on the roof, man. But it's not as fast as a lot of this other shit, man. I got Tomahawks in here. I got the Bugatti of EGT in here. And I'm just in this piddly little Formula One car compared to those guys. Can't even get through the crowd here. Come on. Coming through. Out of my way, motherfuckers. Oh, I got nitro. I do have nitro. All right. We're in sixth place. Let's see if this nitro works. What's my speed at? It's not doing shit, man. I'm barely moving with this nitro. <laughs> oh, the humanity. <laughs> Still, actually, it feels better than the um, the other Formula One car that I have. It's just smoother to drive. It's less kind of twitchy to kind of explain that somehow. But it's just not that fast. I mean, I can barely get it up over 310 here, and that's with the nitro. Look at how slow that nitro is. 
It's got no headlights. You can't see shit. I can't see where the fuck I'm going. If it wasn't for the yellow line on the road, I wouldn't know where the fuck I'm going, man. <laughs> but all right. So we checked the car out. Cool. I got one. <laughs> so I guess that's the deal. You pick your team, right? Either you're picking Honda or you pick Toyota. And then at some point, there'll be a Honda versus Toyota race in the game. I'm sure of it. So, cool, though. Is there any cars out there that anybody wants to see that they uh kind of curious about? Ooh, is there anything we can do on GT Auto? Like, can I put my name on the car or something? We can paint it. Well, if I paint the car, though, it'll probably get rid of the delivery that's on it. So I'm probably not going to paint it. But, I mean, it would be cool. I could, you know, it does already have a carbon paint on it, so that's kind of all right. Uh, race options. I can change the number. Oh, fuck. Now, I can't even do that. It has no windshield. I'd like... If I put my name on it, I will lose the original design. Are you serious, man? Can't even put my name on the car? I mean, it doesn't have that much in the design anyways. I mean, you know, other than the Honda thing. But it does have that carbon fiber weave on it, so... kind of like that. But I did want to put my name on it. That's lame. All right, I can't even put my name on the damn thing without uh, deleting the entire livery. What's on it? Okay, fuck it. Can I change the wheels? Of course not. <coughs> no. You can't do shit with this. Wow. Uh, I'm, you know, whatever. Slightly disappointed, I guess. But whatever, it's okay. Fuck it. I mean, I wanted the car anyways, so that's fine. Although, compared to the... Uh, Gran Turismo F1. This one's 977, and the Gran Turismo one's 929. But the Gran Turismo is 986 horsepower, 1190 pounds, and this is 639 horsepower, 1400 pounds. So how is it better when it's got half the power and twice the weight? Fuck, you know. I don't know the logic on that one. This is my new favorite car to drive. Go figure, I've always been a Pagani fan. But, you know, uh, the thing is nuts. <laughs> it is nuts. Right now it's only tuned at 699. But uh, let's go on to uh, multiplayer. <laughs> Have some fun. See if anybody wants to fuck around. <sighs> fuck with my my goddamn Sonda. <laughs> so I am uh, I'm pretty happy chilling in my new spot here, man. I mean, it's nothing fancy. I mean, it's still a really small little little place, but it's a hell of a lot nicer than where I just came from. You got nice floor-to-ceiling windows and a view out the window, and the the bed's got a hydraulic lift kind of thing on it, and, or hydraulic fucking you know um, thing that goes up and down, so you can turn the bed into a into a couch. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Let's see what we got online here. Anything interesting?
I'm just gonna make a lobby and see if people will join and then uh, we'll fuck with them a little bit. the music uh, I have to say I do like the music oh fuck man I screwed up my back when I loaded my car up like I I didn't screw it up really bad just a little bit but then I still had to unload the car when I moved to the new place and I screwed it up just a little bit more but it's not fuck fuck like I can still walk but it seems as the day goes on it's getting worse <laughs>
Nice. Look at all these victims. <laughs> oh, and there's nobody online in my stream. Oh, well. I wonder if I got any friends in here. Don't see any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us. Let me do a practice run here. I really doubt any of these guys are going to race clean, man, because they just don't. I mean, some do, though. But, you know, when you get this many players in here, you know there's always going to be at least one clown that's going to go around running everybody off the road. Especially with penalties. Oh, see? Boom. Hit the wall. So that was a good thing I practice. Good practice. Oh, hit the wall again. After driving the Bugatti... Ugh. I need to get used to this for a second. hitting everything. <laughs> I'm trying to go for the pole position here. But with a three second penalty, I ain't gonna help. Oh man. I need to get a feel for this. Where'd the music go? Oh, okay, breaking points. Uh, no microphone on this? Uh, GTR Nismo, huh? I bought the new fancy GTR, uh, VGT or whatever. But, um... Yeah, see, it says people are still loading, so it won't let me start the race yet. There we go. Well, seeing as I did not warm up with the car, I know damn well I'm gonna crash. <laughs> I'm so gonna crash. Oh, fuck. All right. We did not get any warm up here, so. We got a stack of people in here. There's 12 of us. This is gonna be a shit show. Hey, where's my damn nitro? 
my nitro didn't work. I put nitro in here, but there isn't any. Look at these guys all running around with penalties. Now I got a fucking penalty. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, I didn't fucking turn the nitro on on my car. That's the problem. There's nitro in the race, but I didn't have it activated on my car. Come on, man. Fuck. All right, the next race, I will turn on my nitro. And this car is tuned for fucking 600, not 800. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't even do my settings and shit, so. Yup. It's okay. That's what happens. So, you know, the lobby gets impatient and I start the race before I'm ready. Lap one of three. <laughs> they already see. Look, like, there you go. Everybody's starting to leave now because they fucking they suck. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this my car is only rank, ranked for, rated for 700 performance points. This is an 800 performance points race. I didn't turn on my nitro, so yeah. No problem. I was wondering why this felt a little uh, a little slow. That's all right. I'm getting my warm-up time in here, but I mean, I'm warming up now at the wrong freaking settings, so. Yeah, whatever. I am on my wrong setting sheet. I will change that. It's just taking forever to get around the track now with the slow ass settings that I got on my car.
All right. All right. Okay. Settings. Car settings. 800 performance points. Nitro on. Okay. Let's fuck around now, motherfuckers. <laughs> Well, this guy's got sport super soft tires on. People are still initializing. All right, I can already tell my car is going faster now. Of course it's too easy, bro. Why was a fucking 100 performance points below your ass? had racing hard tires on and everything. See you later, motherfucker. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, bro. Fuck, man. You know? Pull in front of me and slam on the fucking brakes. Great. Now I get a penalty for that. Oh shit, 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 shit. Here comes my penalty. 1.5 second fucking penalty. I don't know if I did my gear ratio on this or not. I think my gear ratio might still be too low. Your ratio is only at three fucking thirty. I can turn that up a little bit for the next track. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are all leaving now because I'm kicking your ass. It was all funny before when you were winning, right?
If I turn on my gear ratio, I'll be able to get up to like 360, maybe 370. a win for Canadian. <coughs> a win by like 17 seconds. The second place guy was 17 seconds behind my ass. Fastest lap and clean race. Booyah.
I don't want to try this again. Got some fresh meat. Not sure what the fuck happened there. A car just fucking spun out. I don't know if somebody fucking hit me or not or what. A little bit harder when I gotta drive through all these guys though without hitting them. Got him. He's fucking bouncing all over the place. Fucking four seconds and penalties. Damn it. to increase my gear ratio. No car, no car, no. It didn't give me a penalty or maybe there's a delay on that and I'm not sure. But I did hit that wall. get by this guy without hitting him, I don't know, fuck.
as I'll take second place. And I totally fucked that up in the beginning. I don't know what the fuck's going on here, man. It can't even, like, get a good angle on the other vehicles. I guess maybe. Not even not when you're in third person, you can't really do shit.
I still forgot to adjust the gear ratio again. Ten seconds ahead of everybody. They don't know what the fuck's going on because they're not. They don't realize there's unlimited nitro. <laughs> you can just fucking hold the nitro button down the whole time. <laughs> I don't think they know that yet. They haven't figured it out. I didn't get a penalty? Somebody's gaining on me. I think they figured it out.
fehlen. Oh damn, I smoked those dudes. They're still running 15 second lead. <laughs> I actually thought somebody was catching up to me. Fastest lap and clean range.
I'm sure this is going to suck, but let's check it out anyways. <coughs> we got the absolute shittiest tires that you can put on a car on this thing. Just to get it into the 700 performance point range. <coughs> oh, what happened here? Oh, there we go. 700. Oh, fuck, it won't let me. It has to have racing tires. some kind of racing tire on this. I gotta get it down to under 800. intermediate uh, I'm probably gonna have to pit every lap but all right let's try it out these are like rain tires right they're not racing tires so if it doesn't rain I'm fucked <laughs> I'm pretty much fucked if it doesn't rain But 
but it, it's a cool car to drive, so I want to drive it, right? That's the problem. They've got all these fucking cool cars and no races that you can fucking race any of them in. How lame is that? Like, give us fucking 900 performance point races, dudes. I don't know. Thanks, Gran Turismo, for giving us cars that we can't fucking race. Anyways. Let's see how long these tires last. Did not see that turn coming. I'm sure that got me a penalty, didn't it? Oh, but I'm almost out of gas. I don't know if I'm gonna make a freaking lap. Oh, so there's remaining lap three. I got lots of gas. Oh, what's the green thing going down so fast? Oh, it's a hybrid car. That's electrical boost that I've been using. Nitro. You see the tires? They were just fucked already. I've never even made one lap. Because they're rain tires. Of course, I can drive a little easier on them, but... Lap 105. Man, this is a level 800 thing. So I was actually allowed to use Nitro in this race, but... You can't put nitro on this car, I guess. It's actually my first time driving this car, I think. <laughs> <laughs> at lap one of five. I'm gonna have to pit every lap. Because I'm using rain tires. This pretty much has me screwed. I could push one more lap, but I doubt it. That's not going to happen. I am not going to win this shit. You just can't play with this car. It's like, you know, you this awesome fucking car, and there's no races that you can actually race it in, which is fucking lame. I mean, there's races I can race it in, I guess, would don't take tire damage. And then I could probably get away with it. That's really what I should just go and do. Like, I can probably take it into the... Yeah, I can take it into the tournament, maybe. You know, but I mean, it's so tuned down, too, like... At 800, I literally have it tuned all the way down. 
So you've got this awesome car and you can't do fuck all with it. We can only race it in arcade mode. Which is just ridiculous. There, see, it's a thousand performance points, right? Like, and there's no races for that. <laughs> so, yeah. But in, ar in arcade mode, you can play it. That's that's it, though. But it's got you racing against some OP shit, too, though. No, I've been busy. It's my first live stream, I think, in like two or three weeks. I just moved into my new place today. Just checking out my inter my internet connection, seeing how everything is. I'm not sure how it looks at your end. Does the video quality look okay? Because like the numbers are seem right. I mean, I was supposed to have a fiber optic connection here, but the numbers don't say that. And the numbers are looking kind of crappy. It's got a better upload than I had at the last place, but not a not as good of a download. So I don't know what the fuck. My internet that I'm running right now is only 24 up and down, which is pretty shitty. You know, they told me they had fiber optics and I was expecting 150 to 300, not 24, so, you know. The fucking internet company just straight out bullshits, bullshits people. They put a name on it called fiber optic. It doesn't mean that they're giving them a fiber optic connection. They're just calling it a fiber optic connection, you know. It's like. Fuck, man. The fucking marketing of companies, you know? So, you know, the person that owns the place thinks they're running fiber optic internet when they're not. They just got regular old fucking internet with a, with a, that's called fiber optic. It's like when McDonald's calls their fucking beef 100% real beef when it's not 100% real beef. They're just calling it that. That's the name of their product. It's not the fucking actual product. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I just got here today. I was expecting a better internet connection. I'm just checking it out. Hopefully it's okay. <coughs> I'm not noticing any lag issues in playing. But I haven't tried to download or upload anything yet, right? And that's where it's going to notice it, right? Like, if it's going to take me a half an hour to upload a fucking two-minute video, it's going to piss me right off. 
right? Or if it takes me fucking two hours to download fucking, you know, a 20 or a 10 megabit file, that's bullshit too, so I don't know. But we'll find out. If that's the case, I'll ask them to upgrade it. But I haven't slept. I, it took me, it was a seven hour drive to get here. And I, I left at like two o'clock in the morning. I arrived at 9 a.m. And uh, I, I just unpacked everything and got it into the into the suite and hooked this stuff up and I'm just checking it out right now. But I am pretty exhausted. Cool, this is my first time driving this car. It's actually pretty nice. Definitely liking it. And I'm, you know, I'm racing the same circuit till it starts track, but at least it's not the same fucking time of day. It's at like sunset, which is also nice. And it's not raining. <coughs> so yeah. I bought the Bugatti VGT, but I forgot to pick my color. Well, I got stuck with a blue one. And I don't think you can go buy another one. I think once you own it, it says you already have it acquired, right? So you can't go and get a different one. I have to say that all these new, you know, these fucking modern cars, though, I mean, they are pretty awesome to watch, you know. <laughs> they do look pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I know. Future racing.
So I own pretty much all of these cars.
I don't know how well this thing is going to do with hard tires. It's pretty good on gas though. <laughs> Pretty fast. I'm doing 313 with it. But it's slippery with these tires. Can't even make turns. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't got a penalty for either of that. There it is, seven seconds. Like the one thing that's good about this car is that it can stop on a dime, but not with tires like this. My penalty. Gotta be really soft with the gas and really soft with the brakes, otherwise it's gonna go flying. I don't know why I tried racing this car in here. I think maybe I should have just gone with like soft tires or medium or something. Let's try that. Okay, 
I am not getting anywhere like this.
What the fuck? I won that shit and it gave me second place. What the fuck? See, it shows me in first place right here. <coughs> I'm in fucking first. Oh, me because I fucking got the penalty? Did it set me back that extra few seconds? Hmm. Hmm. It could be. I was lazy at the end there. I just fucking cut the corner, but... Yeah. I probably got like a seven second penalty for that. Fuck, man. All right. Whatever. Well, man, I, uh, I spent fucking seven hours driving in real life couple hours packing and loading my car before the drive, a couple hours packing and unloading my car, and then setting everything back up here. And now I've streamed for a little bit. I'm fucking exhausted. I gotta go to sleep for a little while, and I'll be back on later.